our brains have developed incredible tactics and coping mechanisms that help us make sense of the complex world around us. But some parts of our highly adaptive mind aren't perfect and can be exposed through carefully created and crafted illusions. I didn't just make that up, I'm reading this off of a blog post. It's true though. When you look at this illusion right here, it looks like there's a gray square and there's a white square, but that's actually not true. Hold your finger right where the arrow is. I'm gonna disappear for a moment. All right, now you have the screen to yourself. Now put your finger on the screen where the arrow is and all of a sudden, that's not true, right? That can't be true. They're both gray. Your mind is literally tricking you. How is this possible? This is called the corn sweet illusion and it exploits our brain's lateral inhibitions. I don't know what that means either. You're not alone. Basically, it means it creates more contrast between the two objects when they have different color edges. I wonder how many times my brain is overcompensated. <laughs> If you don't know how to cross your eyes, you also can just blur your eyes, you know, like blur your vision, but check out this illusion. So we're supposed to blur our eyes and look at this picture. I've disappeared again. All right, tell me in the comments down below, what do you see or who do you see? He's somebody that's pretty famous. All right, now we're supposed to stare at this lady's nose for 10 seconds and then blink rapidly while looking at a light surface and her face will be in color. So your brain's gonna overcompensate and make this woman in color. We have to stare at this lady for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now look at a wall. Oh my God, she's in color. Oh my god, now blink really fast too. You have to blink really fast to see it. Why does that kind of look like Kim Kardashian? Like that's all I'm seeing on the wall. I don't know. It's crazy. She had like tan skin and everything. That was weird. What? <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up right now if you just saw that picture in color. And if you didn't just see it in color, go back in the video and watch it again and do it again. Because I promise you, you will see it in color. That is insane. So these cars look like they're different sizes, but they're actually all the same size, and I'll show you that here. Literally, those cars are all the same size. This is called the Ponzo illusion, and it works because our brain judges an object's size based on its perceived distance. I think our brains are kind of prehistoric. I think we need to go to the Apple store and update our brains because we definitely need some sort of upgrade here. This ain't it. This ain't working out, all right, brain? Like I've said in previous videos, literally your eyes don't see anything. All your eyes are is like a camera lens. And what really actually makes you see things is your brain. That's crazy. That's why when people like hallucinate and stuff, like in real life, like real hallucinations, it's not their eyes playing tricks on them, it's their brain playing tricks on them. So this is a park in Paris and it looks like a giant 3D globe, right? The grass area looks like it should be 3D, like a globe, but actually it's completely flat. It looks like somebody took a needle to the globe and deflated it. And it's crazy because there even is like arches and everything on the globe. That is so weird. If you look at this image, A and B, the little squares are actually all the same color. Don't believe me? Watch the next image. All right, so she's taking a piece of the square and putting it, oh my gosh. No, I can't. That's, it. That's crazy. Does that mean the other squares are also different colors? Or are they all the same color too? Is my mind just really that outdated? Okay, so we're supposed to stare at this swirling picture for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna look at another picture and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna count out loud. We're gonna stare straight into the middle of this picture. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 24, 24, 30. All right, look at the picture. Oh my gosh, it looks like the picture's moving. 
Shut up. That's crazy. It really looked like the picture was moving. Oh my God. I don't know. I love that. If that picture just moved for you, you have to hit that subscribe button because that is insane. That is assuming you're not subscribed. The people who don't subscribe, they don't know it yet, but they're literally going to stub their toe on every little corner surface that they walk by for three weeks. You don't want to do that. All right, so for this optical illusion, we have to slowly move our head towards the image and the light in the middle will get brighter. Move your head away and the light will become weaker. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna try it with you. Whoa, oh my gosh, that's, that's so weird. Why does that happen? What? All right, make me disappear. That way you can try it on your own without my big head in the way. Look at that. That is so weird. That's cool. All right, so we're supposed to stare at the center of this colored version picture and then wait for it to change into black and white. Ready? Stare at the dot. So we just keep staring and staring. We're like a rude person in a public setting and the dot is feeling very self-conscious and he's wondering why everyone's staring at him. Keep staring, almost done. Staring, staring. All right, so the picture is gonna turn black and white. Oh my gosh, it's in color. What, what? How do I know? How does my brain know, I should say, that the building on the left was gonna turn yellow and the building on the right was gonna be like a reddish color. That's crazy. Okay, so it says, instead of turning black and white, your brain fills in the color it thinks it should be seeing based on the orange and blue in the photo. You blink once and it turns to black and white. That is insane. That is crazy. All right, Sky Squad, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more optical illusion videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Also, comment in the comment section down below your favorite type of snack. My favorite right now are goldfish. I've been eating these goldfish all day. I had to go to the store today just to buy goldfish because I like them so much. Let me know what your favorite snack is in the comment section down below. I'll be liking a bunch of your guys' comments. Also, I have a brand new gaming channel. I'm playing Roblox right now, but I'm also going to play GTA. So there's a mature audience over there. Just warning you now. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button right now. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.